Hello and welcome to a Forge Creative training demo for your Forge Build WordPress website. Today we're going to be talking about replacing images on your site. So the first thing to do is to log into the back end. Um, you use your username and password for that. It's usually yoursite.co.nz forward slash wp-admin for the login area. If you've forgotten your login details, feel free to get a hold of us at Forge and we can help you out in resetting those. Right, when you land on your dashboard you should see something like this. Um, if you do see any messages up the top here regarding updates, um, warning messages, etc., it's always best to contact us first before you do anything about those. Uh, we can help you resolve those. In this case, this is an SEO warning because we've blocked our website from Google. Just because we don't want it to see it for now, but that's fine. However, do feel free to call us or email us if you have any questions regarding those um, messages up the top there. Right, so the first thing we want to do is navigate to the page that we want to replace the image on. So there's a number of ways to do that. I find the easiest way is just to click up the top left there where your site name is and then you're presented with a front end of view of the website. Simply navigate to the page that you want to change like here and as you can see we've got a placeholder image on the right hand side that I would like to swap out for an actual photo. So I head to the top of the page, I hit edit page and it will load what we call a visual composer or the WP Bakery Builder and it should look fairly similar to what you're seeing in the back end, in the front end, I should say, of the website. So text on the left and images on the right. Here's the image we want to change. We simply hover over it and we're presented with a few options here. One of these is edit single image. I'll click on the little pencil icon to make that change. Now the image source here is generally set to media library by default and that's where most of your images and other content live. Um, what we'll do is swap it out. So we're going to hit the X button down here to get rid of the existing image and we're going to go plus to add a new image. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can select a new image down here and then grab it like this. So for example I might get example image 3 and then hit open and you can see that loads that into our image library. You can also go straight to the media library tab at the top here if it's already in there uh, and grab it from there. When you import the images make sure they're not too big. If they're 10 megabyte images they're going to be way too big for the web. They'll take too long to load and use too much bandwidth so make sure you reduce them in size first to an appropriate size and yeah you can usually look at some example images that we've already got loaded in there to get a sense of the size that they should be. So we've selected our image here. I'm going to hit set image on the bottom right and that's now in there. Now the image size, it says full at the moment. There's a few options there. You can go thumbnail, medium, large, etc. Usually full or even large is, is a pretty good place to start. You hit save changes there and you can see the image is now in view. Now like all other, other videos, you can preview the changes up the top here. So hit preview and that's how you check to see if you like the look of it before you publish it live. In this case, yep, it's looking pretty good. Let's go back on your browser button or hit the tab uh, for the editing view. And we're happy with that. We can also swap out these images. So I'll hit the again the pencil icon. I will close the existing image out, delete it, hit plus, grab another image, say that one from my media library, or I could upload it from my desktop or where, where, what have you. We'll grab this one down the bottom right, we'll set the image. And just double check the size. Yep, that's full. We'll set that to large. Go save changes. And again, we can see that's added that in there. Now, if you're not too fussed, you can publish them um, straight to the live site. In order to do that, you must hit update on either on the right hand side or if you're further down the page, it will appear at the top right here. If you don't hit update, it, you'll lose the changes if you navigate away from the page. And if you do go to leave the page, let's say we go back, it will give us a warning and say this page is. You know, you're going to lose data on it. Are you sure you want to do it? So I'll choose to stay on the page. But again, to make sure it goes live, you must hit update over here on the right. So we'll click on that. And now that should be published. You can see that it is up the top here, published. So we can view the page at the top here to see what our changes look like. And here you can see that's worked and that's replaced that image there. So that is how you replace images on your website. Uh, later on, I'll be doing a video on how to build a general content page and build different elements and things but for a simple picture change that's a pretty easy way to do it. If you'd like further help feel free to contact us at Forge if you're a Forge hosting customer. Also we run a monthly training session usually on the first Wednesday of every month. Uh, feel free to get in touch with us and book yourself in for that group session 
uh, all Forge customers are welcome to come to that. Otherwise, hope you have a great day and thanks for watching the video.